Okay, we're in the dark for this one. Let's turn some lights on. Okay, today we're going to go back to working on the Chiapa Little Badger. Um, namely, this stock situation. Now, I extended the stock out here a couple, about an inch, and uh, it's a little rattly. Um, and that's pretty much the way it was, I think, even with it fully extended. Perhaps a tiny bit less, but I want to make use of this space in the stock here. So, all last night I've been printing all these different shapes and sizes and doing measurements and cutting out bits of paper. Um, and this morning I got out to the laser cutter. Pieces of paper under things. And I cut this. Which is uh, part of an ongoing design. But uh, I plan on making a little setup that can fit in here. This is the first time I have tested the fit. And it looks like it'll fit in nicely. We're going to stop far enough to be able to use the 22 holder because 6mm is just not quite enough to fold or hold 22s in the gap in the middle here. And we'll only have two layers of this to go with. There will be four layers in total. One will sit on top and bottom and two in the middle. Uh, but this is nice to see that this will fit the gap nicely. And this is what I was after. One thing I did want to do is check this little divider here that I planned on putting in. This should hold um, spare batteries for both the uh, laser and the red dot scope. So that will hold in there nicely. And a CR2032 for the reflex sight. And that should drop in there nicely. Okay, so that should hold in pretty well. That little piece is designed to fit in here nicely. Um, whether I'll glue that down or not is another matter. Given the shape of this, it could tend to slide down here. I don't know if that will happen. Um, I had planned on having a little slot in the side to poke spent brass into this little chamber in here. I don't know if that's going to work, but uh, yeah, I will uh, cut it and see what happens. Okay, sometime later we have a pile of bits. Okay, we can discard a few of these bits and pieces, move them off to the side here. Accessory door, I plan to fit this with little magnets and I found a few of them. That's our side door, a little slot that was going to take our spent brass till I realised it won't fit between the gap. I've left that open, I've just taken the sprint bra spent brass label off it for now. This bit, we'll pop that out. Okay, so I've got a little bit of weeding to do. This one goes on the back, that one goes on the top that the magnets can fit it. Alright, we're partially assembled, we've got our back layer, our two intermediate layers. This has the recesses for the magnets, which we won't install just yet. Um, and we need to poke out all our screw holes here. This one should assemble that way. I will have to cut this mirrored. Um, I do plan to do this with some acrylic at some point, and um, that would probably make it a little better. All right, let's put some nuts on. All right, after successfully nutting, we've got this on the stock. It, it floats around a little bit. Um, I will probably extend the next design a little bit, or maybe I'll pull the stock up a bit. I think that will help with the twist. Three mil screw to the rescue. We can pull that out. Okay, now I had hoped to be able to put a bore pull through. Oh, sorry, um, a cleaning pull through in here. It may not roll up there in the space that I've got. That hopefully will sit in like that. Pop all these bits out. But we may not get cleaning gear in here. So that should hold in there. And that allows me to pull that out. I may stick it in with a bit of blue tack or something. Or maybe another magnet. I don't know. But that does allow me to get that and remove the whole thing nicely from there. We'll wound the blinds down so we don't scare the neighbours. Let's have a look here. That's going to be okay, it does need to move around a bit. Um, I will probably, I may add some glue, but I, I think I might add a bit of rubber stripping or something in there. But yeah, I think if I can get that to sit up against here a little bit better, that will work more, or more reliably, better, something like that. Um, and I'll stop the slopping around a little bit. Okay, well we're going to pull some bits out of here so they don't fall out. Pull that out. Okay. One thing I do want to work out is uh, if my little slot for spent brass will work. They'll tip in there, but the um, rim is a bit of a problem. Well, they sort of will go in there. Um, I don't know how you'd go 
Um, this is designed so that if I break it open, like so, which is a bit difficult to do on camera, we can rattle the, the stock and tip them back out that hole. Um, so I guess they might go in if they uh, tip sideways and they hang down like that, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how that goes. It could end up getting used for other stuff. It's a bit of space I didn't want to waste. Got some old ones I need to get rid of at some point here. Um, that's not quite enough to fill it up, but these will do anyway. I had figured that putting them this way up would make it difficult to get them out, although I can get my finger in. Normally you stick your finger on the top and peel them up that way. Probably not going to be as easy, but we'll work out how we go from here. I have a feeling I'm probably only going to be able to populate one side of it, because then I can poke them out the bottom like that. Not as ideal. But I'm going to poke a few in both sides here and see how I go. I'm just going to shoulder this and see if I can find a way to get them out. Okay, with it shouldered, I can get my finger under here. If I push them all up like this, I can get my finger up and pop them out. Not as ideal as it would have been, but I think with a bit of practice, I can pull them out, even with two rows populated. So if it's pushed up like that, though, maybe a different matter, actually, that might work. It's just enough to get a finger in there and peel it up. Even if I flip them up that way, it's probably easier that way. Yeah, okay. So that might actually work. That's surprising. And of course, when you have fun, you are got to pack everything up again. Shades of childhood. Every time you get your toys out, you've got to put it all back away again. All right, so uh, I have moved the stock up a little bit and uh, much firmer. Um, obviously because I've got that, a bit more torque on that, seated things properly, um, that twist is pretty much gone, that's much better, this doesn't rattle loose, that feels really good, um, and, uh, if we put brass here and pretend that's a, a loaded one, we can get our finger in and pull it out, we're getting somewhere. Okay, we've test fitted some magnets, just by press fitting, and it fits in nicely, I've used a thumb screw to pull the side out. Um, it drops in nicely, it shouldn't, shouldn't rattle out, let's give it a good shake, it's not going to come out. So I think that's going to be alright, that method. Um, I will have to get some more of their magnets though, um, that's about the last of them that I've got. But that's okay, easy to find. Alright, so that's uh, pretty well it, um, I've tightened some screws up. I will be uh, finding some acrylic, which I don't have. And we'll put either some rubber or some silicon in there to stop the rattling. Because like, I can see that being noisy in the bush and scaring off um, a potential game. <coughs> we'll see how that works. <coughs> My throat is a little graspy, so uh, I need to probably take a break from talking now. But there will be more on this soon, and uh, hopefully it will be an interesting one. Um, I will find out what I can fit in here at some point in the future for now it's going to be just that <clears throat> so have fun hope it was interesting let me know what you reckon see you later a little addendum i thought i'd give it a proper fit out survival whistle with a striker removed fits in here that striker is designed to fit in the end of this um but good survival whistle with a flint and a striker on the side that's not bad a little bit of room for a bit of tinder or maybe i could shove some tinder in there we'll work it out but uh that fits very nicely and we can shut all that in properly uh, as long as I shave down that screw. In any case, we're doing well. See you in the next one.